I'm delighted to address the Qatar Economic Forum and I'm grateful to His Highness the Emir for providing this opportunity to offer a vision of the world we must all create together after the pandemic. If anything good can possibly come from tragedy, we have at least been given a chance to build back better and build back greener. This is the moment to break with the past and revive the global economy in a way that protects the planet and fulfills our obligations to future generations by investing in new infrastructure and encouraging innovation. We can create jobs and level up so that no one is left behind. And there's no contradiction between achieving this ambition and protecting our planet. In the last 30 years, we in the United Kingdom have cut our carbon emissions by 44% and in the same period we've expanded our economy by 78%. Only a decade ago, about 40% of our electricity came from coal. Today the figure is below 2% and we aim to eliminate coal altogether by 2024. There is no reason why humanity should not prosper and safeguard our planet at the same time. We have the ingen ingenuity and the technology to achieve both. All that remains to do is to summon the will. And Qatar's role in building back greener will, of course, be crucial. If we are to limit the increase in global temperatures to 1.5 degrees, then our scientists say that by the middle of this century, the carbon we produce and the amount that nature mercifully removes from the atmosphere should be in balance. And it is precisely because that vital goal can only be achieved by the common effort of every nation that Britain will bring the world together for COP26 in Glasgow in November. I hope you will all be there and I look forward to working with you side by side to do our duty for succeeding generations and to pass on a greener and more prosperous world. Thank you.